Before we dive into this late night digital tale, here's a serious disclaimer. This story is about unsettling tools I found online. Our goal is education and awareness, not instruction. Think of this as a public service announcement for your digital life. We're not learning how to use these tools, but how to protect ourselves from them. The internet is vast and amazing, but it has dark corners. My aim is to empower you with knowledge, not scare you offline. Understanding risks is the first step to staying safe. Most open source developers are building positive things. The tools we'll discuss are rare exceptions, but even rare threats can cause real harm, so it's important to know they exist. Let's proceed with curiosity and a shared goal, smarter, safer digital lives. Disclaimer over, let's get into it. It was 2.17 a.m. The world outside was silent, the streets empty. I was wide awake, browsing GitHub, surrounded by the glow of my monitors. I'd started out just searching for some code snippets for a personal project, but my casual browsing took an unexpected turn as I followed a trail of links deeper into the site. I landed on a project with a vague, almost threatening name. Its description mentioned camera access and social engineering, words that made me uneasy. Seeing those words together set off alarm bells. I hesitated, finger hovering over the mouse, but curiosity won. I clicked further, telling myself it was just for research. That single click set off a chain of discoveries that changed how I thought about my own online safety. Suddenly, the little black dot of my webcam felt a lot more sinister, as if it were watching me back. The first tool I found was called SayCheese. Despite its innocent name, it's designed to secretly steal webcam photos from a target's device without their knowledge. SayCheese works by generating a malicious link, often disguised as something harmless, like a message from a friend or a funny video. When the victim clicks the link, they're taken to a web page that asks for camera permissions, just like a normal video chat site. If they click allow, the script instantly snaps a photo with their webcam and sends it to the attacker, without them knowing. The tool is easy to use, with step-by-step -step instructions, and is publicly available for anyone to download. It's a reminder that these privacy-invading tools are just a few clicks away. After Say Cheese, I found Camfish, a more advanced, versatile version of the same idea. Camfish doesn't just take a snapshot, it can stream live video from your webcam if you grant access. It uses convincing fake websites, social media, streaming, even meeting platforms to trick you into clicking allow. The idea of someone watching me through my own camera in real time was terrifying. Camfish is packaged like legitimate software with documentation and features, making it feel disturbingly normal. The normalization of these tools is what's most unsettling. They're presented as just another coding project. For some, building tools to violate privacy is just a technical challenge, not a moral question. The psychological impact of knowing you could be watched in your own home is immense. Camfish takes the threat from a single photo to a complete invasion of privacy. It's a chilling escalation in the world of digital surveillance. My exploration led to Hidden Eye and Evil Eye, comprehensive phishing toolkits. These aren't just for camera hacking, they're Swiss army knives for social engineering. Hidden Eye offers dozens of fake login pages for major sites, Facebook, Google, Instagram, and more. Enter your credentials and you're handing them straight to an attacker, sometimes along with a webcam photo. Evil Eye is similar, designed for mass phishing campaigns. The names say it all. These are tools for deception and theft. Losing your email password can unravel your entire digital life. The real danger is how these tools exploit human trust, familiar-looking sites, busy users, and a moment's lapse in judgment. The front line of digital security isn't just software, it's your own awareness. The ease and scope of these toolkits was the most terrifying lesson of the night. Then I found Webcamfish, perhaps the most brazen of all. Its GitHub page advertised its features, webcam access, GPS location, and convincing fake links. It combines everything, camera, location, and deception, into one package. If you click the link and grant permission, it snaps a photo and pinpoints your location. Now a stranger could have your picture and a map to your front door. This crosses from digital violation to a real-world threat. The most disturbing part? Anyone can use it, no coding skills required. 
These tools are out in the open with step-by-step -step guides. You don't need to be a hacker, just curious and careless. Profound violations of privacy are just a few clicks away. As dawn broke, I realized the most chilling part, how easy all this is. We imagine hackers as experts, but these tools make hacking simple, hacking as a service. The creators have done the hard work. All you do is download and run. It's like being handed a crowbar and told which window to break. I used to think you needed real skill to be a threat. Now I know anyone with a grudge or curiosity could do this. The pool of potential attackers is much larger than we think. The real threat isn't distant or abstract. It's real, concrete, and easy to execute. These tools thrive on our lack of awareness. Their strategy is simple. Hope you don't look too closely. Hope you click allow. Hope you trust a familiar looking page. But knowing these tricks exist is your first line of defense. Awareness is the antidote to deception. Stay alert. Question what you see and don't underestimate the risks. Knowledge is your best protection. Protecting yourself online is about building smart, simple habits. Cover your webcam with tape, a sticky note, or a camera cover. It's a quick, effective way to prevent unwanted eyes from peeking in. Be skeptical of unexpected links, especially from unknown sources. Phishing scams are everywhere. If a friend sends a weird link, double check with them before clicking. Always check URLs for small differences that could mean a fake website. Don't give apps or websites more permissions than they need. Default to block or deny. You can always allow access later if needed. Use strong, unique passwords for every account and use a password manager to keep track. Enable two-factor authentication wherever possible for extra security. These simple steps make you a much harder target for cyber criminals. Make these habits part of your routine for better digital safety. Take action now and protect your digital world. That late night left me with one clear conviction. Privacy is priceless. It's not abstract. It's the essence of personal freedom. The internet gives us so much, but it often treats our data as a commodity. Tools like these exist because we're too casual about boundaries. But I'm optimistic we can navigate the digital world safely with open eyes. Digital literacy means understanding the risks behind every click. Teach yourself and others to question, to protect, and to value privacy as a right. Take small steps. Cover your camera. Think before you click. Review your permissions. These aren't acts of paranoia. They're acts of empowerment. In a world hungry for your data, the most powerful thing you can do is decide what you're willing to share. Protect your privacy. It's worth everything.